anterior wall, anterior column, and associated anterior and posterior hemitransverse fracture of the acetabulum. Anterior wall fracture is rare. The fracture does not go to the operator framing. The issue of pubic ramus is not fractured. There will be disruption of the iliopectineal line. The disruption of the iliopectineal line could be seen at two points. The ischial line is intact. The anterior wall fracture is best seen in the obturator view. Anterior wall fracture of the establum is usually associated with anterior dislocation of the hip. Anterior column fracture is usually associated with disruption of the iliopectineal line, and ischial line will be intact. You will see that fracture in the operator view, and the fracture will involve the operator framing. The issue pubic ramus is usually fractured. This fracture is more common in old patients. Check for an associated medial wall fracture in addition to the anterior column fracture. Types of anterior column fracture. There are several types based on the location where the fracture exits the iliac bone anteriorly. High anterior column fracture, the fracture exit at the iliac crest. Intermediate anterior column fracture, the fracture exit at the anterior superior iliac spine. Low anterior column fracture, the fracture exits below the anterior inferior iliac spine. Both anterior wall and the anterior column fracture are treated by anterior approach to the stablum, such as ilioinguinal approach. Associated anterior and posterior hemitransverse fracture of the stablum. The anterior injury can be an anterior column or anterior wall, and the posterior injury is a hemitransverse fracture. The posterior hemitransverse fracture is identical to the posterior half of the transverse fracture, and it starts from the anterior establer fracture to the posterior innominate bone. Anterior displacement occurs more than posterior displacement. The femoral head may be subluxed or dislocated anteriorly. Portion of the establum is still attached to the iliac wing and to the axial skeleton. Therefore, this fracture is not an associated both column fracture. In associated both column fracture, the establum is disconnected from the axial skeleton and the establum is a floating establum. CT scan is very helpful in the associated anterior and posterior hemitransverse fracture. It will show fractures of both columns. However, the anterior column will have coronal fracture. Coronal means a column fracture, and you will see that anteriorly. But you will see a different fracture posteriorly. You will see a vertical or sagittal fracture in the posterior column, and that is the hemitransverse in the posterior column. Transverse fracture is not transverse. Transverse fracture is a vertical fracture. So you see that the vertical line in the posterior column means it is a half transverse in the posterior column. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.